The International Panel on Climate Change came out with a report stating that there is a 90% chance that humans are contributing to global warming. While getting my minor in atmospheric and oceanic sciences here at CU, I have heard conflicting stories about this issue. Many scientists have said that increasing levels of carbon dioxide from especially automobiles and deforestation could trap heat, turning Earth into a massive greenhouse. I talked with two professors about the recent report, and their thoughts about what drives climate change were very interesting. Dr. Brian Toon is the chair for the ATOC department and specializes in planetary atmospheres and radiative transfer. We live in a very unusual climate, probably only 1% of the time since life has been uh, in any complex form on the planet, only about 1% of that time has had a climate like our present climate. It's not clear what drives these changes. That's why there's this 10% uncertainty in what's going on. We know the climate's changing, and we know people are doing things which are capable of changing the climate. We we're very confident that people are indeed causing this climate change, but there's still a little uncertainty because of all these longer-term things that the Earth just does naturally. Dr. Richard Keene is an instructor in the ATOC department and specializes in climate change. There's a wide variety of causes. The sun varies, some good documentation of that. Volcanoes blowing big clouds of stuff into the air and cooling the climate. And you have changing greenhouse gases. And in the past century, of course, the carbon dioxide has increased, but that's superimposed on all these other changes. The greenhouse warming is not huge, it's not a degree, it's not 10 degrees, it's quarter degree, tenth of a degree, so something there. Scientists are worried about the fact that we're in an, un an unusual climate period. The Earth obviously doesn't like this climate. It would rather be either colder or warmer. And so there's concern that some parts of the climate system, particularly the ice sheets, may start re responding to the warming. No one's really worried about the whole polar caps melting suddenly, but large sections of it could melt. The rate of melting of Kilimanjaro's glaciers is slowing down, not speeding up. The biggest rate of melting was 100 years ago, and they're shrinking, but not at as fast a rate as they did before. Glaciers are very complex things. They're not just simple thermometers. With conflicting views about this kind of earth and this kind of earth, why should we care about policy and how much carbon dioxide we're putting in the atmosphere? With carbon dioxide, it has this incredibly long lifetime. That's why it's dangerous. Uh, is, you know, whenever you put it into the atmosphere, it stays there. It doesn't go anywhere for a really long time. So it's very hard to reverse the damage done by the carbon dioxide. If there's not a big effect in the first place, cutting back's not going to be a big effect. Also, a cutback isn't going to be a total cutback. I mean, there's no way we're going to stop burning fossil fuels today. There's no obvious danger to eliminating the carbon dioxide pollution. You know, so it's much safer to not keep putting carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. I think there's a lot of other good reasons for you know, efficiency and, you know, economy and sources of the, the fuel. You know, so there's a lot of other issues involved in this besides the climate. The Earth, we only have one Earth. There's only one place in the entire universe we know of where we can live, you know, and we have to maintain um, this planet uh, in a form which is comfortable for us to live in. The best thing to do is to stop putting these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There is little doubt that humans are putting a lot of pollutants into the atmosphere. Whether we are forced to reduce greenhouse gases by regulation, or if we have to regulate ourselves, these professors at CU seem to agree that now is a good time to start cleaning up our act. Elizabeth Owens, News Team Boulder.